Hello students, uh, welcome to database design and development course. Today I'm going to show you how you can start and work with the SQL Server Management Studio and uh, download and install uh, our sample database file which is called AP Accounts Payable from the book that we are referring. So I'm going to start this SQL Server Management Studio by clicking on Start menu and then browsing through the applications installed. To see SQL Server here, I have installed SQL Server 2014 in my computer, and I'm browsing to the uh, SQL Server Management Studio. This is the application. It is not already pinned in my Start menu, so I'm going to pin this by right-clicking on this, and I'm choosing Pin to Start so that it is get uh, taken to the Start menu permanently. So I'm uh, Flipping away from uh, the start menu and coming back, here you see this SQL Server Management Studio icon. I'm uh, giving a click on that. So now the SQL Server 2014 Management Studio has started and it is asking for uh, the servers to choose. I have installed this one, one instance of uh, SQL Server, so it is displayed here. And uh, it has accepted Windows authentication. authentication. So uh, it is selected by default and I'm clicking connect so that now the uh, program will uh, connect to the database server. Here you see the green color play button shows that uh, the server has been successfully connected. This is called uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Here we have Object Explorer where we interact with databases. All the databases that are created for this server will be listed here. You see uh, here some uh, system databases and there is no uh, user created database av databases available so we will uh, see how we can uh, download and attach uh, the database uh, from uh, uh, Murach website that is the book website for us so I'm going to open uh, my web browser Chromi and I'm typing here murach.com Now I'm um, taken to muraj.com. Here you find uh, the books uh, detailed uh, by their categories. I'm browsing to database programming. And here they have listed uh, three books that they have authored. Now I'm going to choose SQL Server 2016 for developers. Here it is and I am browsing down to see the free downloads tab, give a click on that and go to the examples and exercises area where it is available as exe file and zip file. I am going to choose a zip file. It is asking me to give a registration. I am going to give my email address. No, it is a first name Sabras Nawaz. Last name Samsudin, email address subras at scu.ac.lk. I'm confirming subras at scu.ac.lk. Country Sri Lanka. I would, I would like to receive uh, emails. Okay, fine. I'm not a robot. I'm confirming and I'm registering. And uh, the registration process takes place. And uh, you'll be directed to the page where you left. Now you see uh, it has confirmed our registration and we can uh, click on this continue to download button to continue to our uh, registration uh, process. I'm going down again, clicking on the free downloads, browsing down to see the, see the zip file and I'm clicking on the download now. And it is getting downloaded to the uh, download folder in my computer. I'm choosing show in folder. It is there already. Right click on this and extract to the folder. Yep, it is available. I'm double clicking on this. Again, I'm double clicking. I'm uh, going to see the databases available. Here we have three SQL Server script files. I'm going to double click on this create AP file. It is uh, create accounts payable file. Right? Double click on that. It is asking which program you want to use. 
it has suggested SQL Server Management Studio, accept the default and make sure in future also these kinds of files will be using SQL Server Management Studio. Give a click on OK. Now it is listing all the script to create the database for you and then it will insert data for you. Ok fine, I'm going to click on the execute button or alternatively you can press the F5 key on the keyboard both of them will do the execution process. I'm clicking on this execute file. It is executing the script. 8 rows affected, 75 rows affected and so on. All of them are affected. So which means the database has successfully been created. You don't see the database listed here. What we can do is click on this databases folder and go to the refresh button here and click. Now we see the accounts payable database attached to our uh, SQL server. I'm going to expand these tables. Here we find all the tables, invoices, vendors, line items, invoice archives, etc. If you want to see how it works, I'm creating a new query and I'm saying uh, use AP, pressing F5 key on the keyboard and deleting it. Select all from vendors. This is one of the table available in the SQL Server uh, Correction Accounts Payable uh, database. So until then now we have learned how we can uh, start SQL Server Management Studio and uh, log into the system and then downloading a Payable to sample database and attaching it to our uh, uh, SQL Server program. Right? And in the next videos, we, forthcoming videos, we will be having a look at how we can create database and then uh, inserting data into the database and so on. Until then, goodbye.